Unfortunately, I've lost my little helper. There were too many bees flying around for her. As you can tell, the uh, corn is almost done. Uh, the ambrosia sweet corn is definitely finished. Um, the one at the back, there's still a little bit. And this one seems to be growing, but I, those um, ears of corn are not actually this one. They're actually from the uh, corn at the back. Then the glass gem corn is still going. Um, the one at the back there, again, that needs to be picked, so I'm going to take that. And they're still growing some stuff, but we'll see. It's, probably, it's almost done. Um, and then over here, my beetroot is okay. It's not doing too well. It's again, it's the sun. It's just there's no rain and the sun is just really uh, it's really drying it out. I might just come along and try to um, I might do it in a mid-afternoon sprinkle on them just to cool them down a bit. Um, I took everything out of here. Over here is my amongst the weeds is my eggplant and my some of my peppers and the eggplant is doing well we did a harvest work and the other day and there's still plenty more under here so there's like that one there's like four of them growing down here um, and a few more smaller ones around more one down there. There's still a couple more flowers and we picked some of the Turkish orange the other day and there's a bunch more. Um, so they're doing really well. That one's still green. Um, and then the peppers are just doing so well. They're actually so many. I need to, I need to cut some of the peppers off. But there's one, there's a, a bunch down there, a bunch over there, look at it from this side, you can see there are just a ton of peppers on these plants, look at that. And the smaller plants have got smaller peppers, um, I don't think there's, not going to get much off them, just the tiny ones. This tomato plant uh, this weekend I'm probably going to cut it down a bit a lot actually uh, we did actually get two tomatoes off it uh, here you can see they're actually starting to ripen up we've got a few others around um, in some places there and some smaller ones here and a small one over there and a couple more down there Another one down here, I don't know if this is ripe yet. Not quite, but there's a bunch of, there's actually quite a lot of tomatoes on here, more than I thought there would be. So I just want to cut it down just so that the tomatoes can get more energy and less for the plant, which as you can see is just falling over. And then a ton more peppers here. We picked like a whole bunch of peppers yes yesterday, but I need to pick more. Lots of beautiful green peppers. Obviously I'm trying to wait until some of them some of them. This plant is just falling down. There's so many peppers on it. Definitely, uh, pruning definitely needs to happen. Um, <laughs> lots more peppers. And again, there's also tiny ones as well on the smaller plants. For the most part, these pepper plants are doing really well. Definitely worth growing again next year, hey? Uh, just 
just lots and lots of peppers. And this one pea plant just does not want to die. More peas. More flowers. Silly pea plant. But this stuff has all got to come out now. So I can plant some more peas. Um, and then last, last but not least, my onion and my kale. I, I mean my Swiss chard. Look at this, these guys are, these guys are looking good. I think that, that, uh, it was that, that, uh, pruning that my wife did that really, really helped. And the Swiss chard is continuing to just grow. But yeah, got a ton of weeds growing up. Uh, around as well just in the pathways not so much in the beds but definitely in the pathways um, I've got a plan for my pathways um, but um, it's not actually that expensive I just have been it's so hot here in the summer that I just didn't feel like spending hours out here in the hot hot sun trying to do something with these. I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to get some cardboard and put it down and um, use some staples that I've got and just bang the staples into the ground and see if that kills most of the, like the grass, which is really, the grass is the worst. These sort of things, just wet the ground and pull them out. Not that difficult and they look worse than they are. There's, you know, one big plant and if I take that down, there's like maybe there's that's one plant and then this all is another plant so if I just you know if I just wet the ground there's two three plants over there take them out and suddenly it looks so much better but with this ah, oh, the grass is terrible anyway uh, so that's my garden tour uh, the next time you see it I will hopefully have some stuff planted for a for an autumn slash fall garden uh, but for right now this is it um, so thanks for joining me on my garden tour I will see you in the next video um, next week Monday come, I publish my videos every Monday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time so I will see you in the next one if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on desert uh, gardening in the desert I am going to have a video out on the lessons I've learned and what I'm going to do different next year later on. So you don't want to miss that video. If you're doing gardening in the desert like here in southern Arizona, you don't want to miss that video. So subscribe to my channel so that you can hear it when that video comes out. And anyway, so I'll see you next Monday. Bye.